here we are using four sensors the first one is the dht 11 sensor to measure the temperature and humidity and the second one is the soil moisture sensor and the third one is the light sensor and the final one is the rain sensor The components required for this experiment are NODMC board, DHT11 sensor, soil moisture sensor, light sensor, rain sensor, breadboard, DC water pump, relay, battery, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template. Here give the template name. IOT, IoT Based Agriculture System. And then select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Stream. And here click New Data Stream and select the Virtual Pin. So first we need to create the variables for the DHT11 sensor that is temperature and humidity. Give the variable name as temperature and pin number as V0 and data type as double and select the maximum value as 100. We can select the units as Celsius. If you want you can change the color. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream, select virtual pin and here we can create the variable for humidity 
and select the pin as pin number as V1, data type as double and maximum value as 100 and select the unit as percentage and again click on the create button. Now the third one, go to data, new data stream, select virtual pin and this is for soil moisture. And here we can use the pin number as V2, data type as double and maximum value as 500. Click on the create button. Now the fourth one is for light. Here also select the virtual pin and give the variable name as light. Pin number as V3, data type as double and the maximum value as 1000. And here also we can select the unit as percentage and click on the create button. Now the fifth one is for rain. Again click the new data stream, select virtual pin, give the variable name as rain and virtual pin number as V4, data type as double. Here also you can give the maximum value as 1000 and click on the create button. Now the final one, this is for the pump. Again select the virtual pin, give the variable name as pump and select the pin number as V6 and click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and here we need to drag 5 gauge widgets and 1 button. Now select the settings of the first gauge and here choose the data stream as temperature and click on the save button. Now select the second gauge settings. Here we need to select humidity and then click the save button and the third and now click the gauge settings of the third one. Here we can choose soil moisture. Again click the save button and now the fourth one. Here we need to select light. Click the save button again and now the fifth one. So this is for rain. Again click the save button and now go to the settings of the switch. Here we need to select the pump. Again click the save button. Now go to events and notifications. Here click on create event. And in the program, we gave the event name as moisture underscore alert. So we need to give the same event name here also. And we can give the, we, we can give any description. I am giving this description. Now here we need to select one second. And here we need to enable this button. Show event in notifications section of the mobile app. And also send event to timeline. Enable this also. Now go to notifications. Click enable notifications. So here we need to select email to device owner and push notifications to device owner. So if you want the alert, we need to enable this button and also enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. And now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device. Here the, now select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. So select that and click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in the program. Now we need to upload the program to the Node MCU board. Now go to this drop down and select the board. And here we need to select the board. The board name is Node MCU 1.0. Now click OK. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the Node MCU board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application, you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template. Now go to settings icon. And here click the plus button from the bottom. Now here also we need to add 5 gauges and 1 button.
Now click the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as temperature and go to design and add the title. We added the title as temperature. Now go back. Now click the second gauge. So here choose the data stream as humidity. Go to design and add the title as humidity. Now go back. Now select the third gauge. So here select the data stream as soil moisture. Go to design and here enter the uh, select the title as soil moisture. Now go back and now select the fourth the fourth one. So here uh, choose the data stream as light and go to design and add the title as light. Now go back and select the fifth one. So here we need to select the data stream as rain. So here also go to design and add the title as rain. Now go back and now select the button. So here choose the data stream as pump and select the button mode as switch. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.